Hello, my name is April Massard and I'm going to be doing my profession exploration presentation on the career of an actuary. Um, so you're probably wondering what is an actuary? Well, an actuary analyzes the financial costs or risks using mathematics, statistics, and financial theory. If you have a background in these subjects, it will allow you to measure the risk that an event will happen. So, actuaries will help businesses and clients develop policies to minimize the cost of a specific risk. You can find actuaries working for insurance companies, private corporations, the government, colleges and universities, banks and investment firms, uh, public account. I mean, public accounting firms, labor unions, fraternal organizations, and they can also be consultants. An actuary's work environment is pretty typical and simple. It's a full-time, 40-hour week that you'll be working in an office setting. Um, if you're a consultant, then you may have that opportunity to travel to meet with uh, businesses and your clients. And there's also a good balance between work and personal life. It was recorded in 2012 from the Occupational Outlook Handbook that on average actuaries get paid $45.04 per hour and $93,680 per year. But if you are an experienced actuary, then you have that opportunity to earn up to $150,000 to $250,000 annually. The number of employees um, and jobs available for actuaries. Okay, let me start with people employed. So there are 24,300 people employed in the actuary field. And within a 10 year period, there were 6,300 more jobs available. There are going to be more um, jobs for actuaries in the health insurance industry and in property and casualty insurance industry. Now the expectations that I have for this field is obviously going to be having a high salary, um, but also having a good balance for work and personal time because I really want to have that time for me, myself, and I and my family. Also, I don't mind working in a uh, office environment. That's something that I would expect. I also expect to have strong competition for jobs in the field of actuary. And I expect to make my mother proud because I'm going to be uh, having a career that is one of the top ranked jobs in the United States. In order to achieve promotions as an actuary, you should join uh, societies such as the Casualty Actuarial Society and the Society of Actuaries. Um, the two levels of certification in these two societies are associate and fellowship. Um, you also need to gain a broad knowledge of risk management and apply it to business, and you'll be able to rise to an executive position in some companies. Um, so you can get a spot as chief risk officer or chief financial officer. And also, if you have good job performance and the number of actuarial exams passed, um, will also allow you to gain a higher salary and also be promoted. So there's quite a few things that are expected in becoming an actuary. You're going to have to have a strong mathematical background and at least a bachelor's degree. But in college, you should take courses such as finance, economics, calculus, algebra, probability and statistics, um, computer sciences courses, business courses, communication courses, little art courses, and if it's available, you should take actuarial science courses. Um, so you'll also need to have several exams passed in order to become an actuary, and you'll have to join the Society of Actuaries. The skills that you'll need to become an actuary are analytical skills, communication skills, computer skills, interpersonal skills, math skills, problem solving skills. So you're going to have to have a strong background in math. I, you know, said it several times. Um, and just be able to listen to other people's opinions and, um, you know, take the, their opinions into consideration before you get to a conclusion with the risk.
So a specific company that I wouldn't mind working for in the future is Anthem Inc., which is previously known as WellPoint Inc. And um, it is one of the nation's leading health benefits companies um, it, that started in Indianapolis, Indiana. And in order for work to work for this company, I'll have to pass at least three actuarial exams and have one year of experience in the actuary field. And there are more than 37 employees, I'm, I'm sorry, 37,000 employees working for Anthem Inc. A larger career field, talking big picture, you can also work for the government as a social security actuary, but if you do that, you have to have a GPA of 3.0 and 4.0 uh, in order to do that, and you will be able to start at a GS7 level. So this is my presentation, and I hope that you all enjoyed, and I hope I didn't mess up too bad. Thank you very much.